Well, hello again and welcome to another tutorial in my iconic movie character series. Before we start, of course, either, if you could subscribe, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. And also, <laughs> ring that little bell icon. Okay, well, the character today is Gru from Despicable Me. Great character. Now, basically, his, uh, the way you draw it is simply a kind of oval shape, like this for his head, a very rough oval shape, like that, kind of stuck on top of a long narrow triangle. So as your shoulders come out from there, that's the top of the triangle, and then shoulders kind of come down like that and go all the way down to his feet, which are very narrow at the bottom. See that very, very long triangle shape there? like that, with the, with the kind of squashed oval at the top. Right, now when you're drawing his features, his eyes, heavily lidded eyes, come in near the top of the head here. So you draw another big kind of circle like that, squashed oval, and then the lids of the eyes come down like that. Okay, and in between the eyes, the other eyes in here, Again, the oval shape with the lid of the eye coming in there. In between the eyes, of course, are the beaky nose. And a curve like that coming up to the nose, which appears there. And of course, he has that kind of insolent look. So you draw the view of the eye just peeping out from below the lid there. Like that. This one a bit closer there. And to give him that kind of disdainful look, you pull the eyebrow down and slope it up slightly like that, so you get that kind of thickness there. The other one starts about here. They're a bit like hairy caterpillars, you know. <laughs> his eyebrows almost right at the top of his head there. And his head, kind of flat along the top, and then sloping down like that. And the kind of ear disappears behind there. Another one disappears in here. And of course, you've got a little mouth, little, you know, fed up looking mouth here with a little lip underneath it, like that. And a little more line under his eyes, like that. Okay. The top of this circle, by the way, our oval goes up higher. And that, and a little line underneath his eyes as well. Okay, right, now the chin comes down like that. So it's rather a large chin. And as I said, the shoulders stretch out like that. And of course, but wrapped around, of course, his neck is the iconic scarf, striped scarf that he has in the film Despicable Me. Comes up like that, and the other one, another layer of it comes around underneath. It comes up there, and the end of the scarf comes over his shoulder there, and comes down, and comes way down here, but his fingers go over that, so I won't draw that in just now. The other end of the scarf comes down from here. Okay, now, these ridiculously broad shoulders end like this in a curve, and then his arm starts to come back in and go up. This one here comes around almost in a kind of curve, like that, as it because he has his arms crossed. So that one comes in, see, crossing over there, that one goes behind this one, which is on top. But as I said, his fingers come in here from this arm here. So this arm stops there, the wrist, and you get his hand tucking in behind this arm here. So you just see parts of the fingers coming in like that. There, okay, and the other one, you imagine coming up here and his wrist appearing about there. And it looks as if he's kind of tapping his fingers impatiently on his arm, you know, maybe waiting for the minions to do something for him. 
like that. Okay, um, below that you have the collar of his jacket which comes up and it goes behind the scarf there. Look like that, the lapels. Another one comes in and it comes up and curves behind the scarf there. As I said, this scarf comes down behind his hand there and also underneath the arm and carries on down like that. The other side comes down a bit shorter, nice and come down to there. And right in the middle here you have the zip of his jacket which you can draw by doing three lines like that, one, two, three, and then just do a kind of row of teeth shapes coming up like that, okay? And that will give you the sense of the zip right to the top there. Of course his scarf is striped, so you put in the stripes and they kind of, as they go around they'll start to go sideways like that. And the same as you come around here. The top ones, try and get them so they don't join black to black, so get one coming in in, in between the gap there. That's going to be why it makes this black. And so on, and give it a bit of a curve to show that it'll almost like a little wrinkle in the scarf as it goes around his neck, like that, okay? Right, now we follow down the side of this sharp triangle again, right down to the end of his jacket. This comes in there like that, and then his legs, again narrowing down almost to points, but not quite, a slight gap between them. Like that, and the other one coming right down to the trouser cuffs there, and then his feet, which kind of splay out on either side, one like that again, quite a long distance, more towards you, this one, like that. Okay, right, we're going to get a pen now, and we can go over all these lines, make it really stand out, okay. Okay, I have a 0.8 pen here, which I'm going to use to put the features in. I might use a broader one for the outlines. But, right, okay, so the hairy caterpillars, as I said, give them a bit of a jagged edge, sloping up, like that. And then it'll turn up at the end of that one as it slopes up, like that, okay? And then the almost beak-like nose coming down, like that. And the kind of nostril swelling around, and the top of the eyelid there sloping up like that, and the bottom of the eye, and his people coming in there. Okay, and in this one here, again, it's like curve, then the eyelid appearing there, and the bottom line, and his people appearing in there. Like that, okay, and then of course the turn down mouth, the little lip there, <laughs> okay. So a little ear, and uh, I think I'll put in the outline now with a broader pen. Oh, by the way, I'd forgotten to put the stripes on the scarf, so I've just added them in there. Okay, I'm going around the head with this broader pen, and now I'll just do the same with the other shapes. And I think I missed out the, uh, yeah, his lapel comes up just beyond the scarf and then tucks in behind here. And then, of course, his arm comes around there and comes across. Like that. And that one curves and then goes behind his hand there. And so on. That line comes around the scarf, and then this part of the scarf comes around here, and we just add on the outline of the stripes now. Right, well I'm just going to continue doing that right to the bottom, and let's have a look at that when I'm finished, okay?
OK, I've outlined the whole shape with the, uh, the larger pen. Uh, now what I want to do now is to put in the black areas. Now there obviously there are black areas which you recognise right away, like the stripes and so on, his eyebrows, but also um, there are deep black shadows, for instance, underneath his arm here, if you draw a line, you know, down the back of the scarf, and on this side too. Underneath his arm there too, of course, coming right across and going up there. Underneath his lapels, like that. And uh, what we do is the trousers and the shoes black as well. So let's start at the top and put in the black eyebrows. Like that, okay. I think I'll do his eyebrows. His pupil is black. I'll just leave a little bit of highlight there, like that. Okay, and then we'll start on the on the scarf. And I'll continue just doing that around on all the sections of the scarf, and then I would do the the dark shading under the lapel, which will come right around there, underneath. There and around there, and of course underneath his arms, I stretch arm as well. Folks will come up. So under his elbow there, and this one too. Come around like that, and down the side of the scarf. These will stand out uh, not too badly, um, because all of this is going to be grey. Okay, and I'll carry on now and do that as well as doing the rest of the scarf. And let's uh, see what that looks like once I've done it, okay? Okay, now that all the black's done, we'll move to the colours. Um, ah, kind of pale flesh tone for the face and the hands. And they can use a pen if you like, or a colour pencil, it's up to you. Or oh, paints if you like. But this, uh, this gives a kind of pale version of his uh, skin colour there, which will carry on up to the face, okay? And once you've done that, you can add a little bit of a slightly stronger flesh tone to come around, take around the outside here, maybe on his lip, on his eyelids here, and it'll touch underneath the eyelids too. And that would be a deep shadow. And also a bit of shading around the side of the nose. Leave that top light and come in there, give it darkness under there. Okay, you might even use slightly darker tone for one side of the eyelid, leave the center of light as if it's catching the light. Like that, okay, maybe in a little bit of a dark tone under there. Okay, oh, that's nice. Let's move to the, uh, well, we can actually uh, use this tone in his hands as well, of course. You've got a shadow coming down on each side of his fingers and a little bit of colour in there. Okay, we move to the, uh, the grey tone now. And the grey tone for the jacket is a slightly darker grey tone, a slightly lighter one for the scarf. Okay, so this dark grey tone would come in here and fill in right up around the shadows like that, this whole area of his jacket. Okay, I'm just finishing off the jacket now. A slight, slightly darker grey than this one, which I'm going to use for the scarf. It's a good idea, by the way, when you're using pens like this, especially in light colours against the dark, that you don't pick up the black lines. Sometimes it's better to do the light colour first, then the black lines, okay? Or be very careful. Like, see, I missed going around there. Just have a little bit of white around the edge. I don't want to drag the black into the light colour. So, i round the scarf with a slightly lighter grey. Okay, as you see, I'm just finishing off now. 
the scarf. And there we have it. There's Gru from Despicable Me. <laughs> Great character. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you can join me again for another tutorial very soon. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.